Have you ever considered what secrets lie beneath the surface of Iran's vast land? Did you know that Iran possesses an extensive network of underground bases, known as missile cities, housing some of its most powerful ballistic missiles? Where are these bases located? And why have they become such a critical element of Iran's defense strategy? To understand this, we need to delve into Iran's military evolution, particularly after the Iran-Iraq War. Following that brutal eight-year conflict, Iran realized that its conventional defenses were vulnerable. The airstrikes and missile bombardments during the war exposed the limitations of surface-based installations. This led to the birth of Iran's underground missile cities, fortified complexes hidden deep underground, designed to protect Iran's strategic assets from any surprise attack. But these underground cities are far more than just places to hide missiles. They represent a significant shift in military strategy, aimed at ensuring that Iran can both defend itself and strike back at any enemy. What makes these missile cities so unique? They are designed to withstand some of the most advanced weaponry in the world. Among the weapons designed to penetrate deep fortifications is the GBU-57 Bunker Buster, a bomb that can penetrate layers of reinforced concrete and reach targets buried deep underground. Iran's missile cities, however, are specifically built to resist such weapons. Using cutting-edge engineering techniques, these facilities are fortified with layers of protection, making them some of the most resilient military structures on the planet. But why go to such lengths? What is Iran trying to achieve by constructing these enormous underground complexes? The answer lies in a combination of defense and deterrence. Iran has long been surrounded by powerful adversaries, countries with advanced air forces and precision strike capabilities. To ensure its security, Iran has invested heavily in asymmetric warfare, where the objective is not just to match an enemy's firepower, but to neutralize their ability to strike first. The underground missile cities are the embodiment of this strategy. By moving its missile forces underground, Iran achieves several goals. First, it greatly complicates the enemy's ability to launch a successful preemptive strike. Unlike surface installations which can be easily targeted, underground bases are much harder to locate and destroy. This creates uncertainty for Iran's adversaries, as they can never be sure where a potential missile strike might come from. Even the most advanced surveillance satellites struggle to detect these hidden facilities. These missile cities are scattered across Iran's territory, with many of them located deep within the mountains. This strategic dispersion makes it almost impossible for an enemy to take them all out in a single attack. Even if some bases are compromised, many others remain fully operational, ready to launch retaliatory strikes. This gives Iran a crucial advantage, the ability to strike back no matter what. Inside these underground cities, Iran stores and maintains a variety of missiles, from short-range tactical weapons to long-range ballistic missiles capable of reaching targets thousands of kilometers away. Each base is equipped with advanced launch systems, ensuring that these missiles can be fired quickly and with precision. But the true power of these missile cities goes beyond their physical structure. They represent a key element in Iran's strategy of deterrence. By maintaining a well-protected hidden arsenal of powerful missiles, Iran sends a clear message to its enemies. Any attack on Iran will be met with a swift and devastating response. This knowledge forces potential adversaries to think twice before considering any form of aggression. But there's more. Iran's underground missile cities are not just about defense. They also play a significant offensive role in the region's military dynamics. Iran's missile arsenal has been a growing concern for its regional rivals and global powers alike. These missiles have the capability to target military installations, infrastructure, and even major cities across the region. In the event of a conflict, Iran's missile cities could serve as the launching points for a massive counteroffensive, unleashing waves of missiles that could overwhelm enemy defenses. This would not only cause significant damage, but also create chaos and disrupt the enemy's ability to coordinate its military response. Furthermore, Iran has incorporated advanced electronic warfare and cyber defense systems into these bases, ensuring that they remain operational even in the face of enemy attempts to disable their communication networks. These systems are designed to withstand electronic jamming, cyber attacks, and other forms of modern warfare, 
making Iran's missile cities even more formidable. From a geopolitical standpoint, Iran's missile cities represent a formidable deterrent. In a region marked by tension and conflict, these underground strongholds act as a critical balancing factor. They send a clear message to both regional adversaries and global powers. Any aggression toward Iran will be met with a swift and powerful response. Iran's missile capabilities mean that no potential enemy can feel safe launching an attack without expecting a devastating counterstrike. Beyond the regional dynamics, Iran's underground missile cities serve a broader strategic purpose. With missile ranges that can reach thousands of kilometers, these bases enable Iran to project power across the region, from the Mediterranean to the Indian Ocean. They allow Iran to hold critical military and infrastructure targets at risk, ensuring that its adversaries must think twice before escalating any conflict. In terms of technology, Iran's missile bases also represent a significant achievement in military engineering. These facilities are designed to be resilient against everything from traditional airstrikes to the most advanced bunker-busting bombs. And while it is possible that new technologies could one day challenge the integrity of these underground strongholds, for now, they remain among the most secure military infrastructures in the world. The existence of these missile cities has dramatically altered the balance of power in the Middle East. For years, Iran's regional rivals, such as Israel and Saudi Arabia, have expressed concern over the country's growing missile capabilities. The strategic depth provided by these underground bases means that Iran now has the ability to project power far beyond its borders, influencing the military calculations of nations across the region. But it's not just the Middle East that feels the impact of these missile cities. Global powers, particularly the United States, have long been aware of Iran's ability to retaliate in the event of an attack. The underground missile cities have become a key factor in U.S. military planning, as they represent a significant challenge for any attempt to neutralize Iran's missile forces in the event of a conflict. Yet despite all the advanced technology and strategic planning that has gone into building these bases, one question still remains. Can they truly remain impenetrable in the face of modern warfare? Can the latest advancements in bunker-busting weapons and surveillance systems overcome the formidable defenses of Iran's missile cities? While it's possible that future technologies may one day pose a greater threat to these underground fortresses, for now, they stand as one of the most secure and resilient military infrastructures in the world. They are a testament to Iran's ability to adapt and innovate in the face of constant threats. And as long as these missile cities remain hidden beneath the surface, Iran's adversaries must always consider the consequences of any miscalculation. The knowledge that Iran can, and will, respond to any attack with overwhelming force is a powerful deterrent. In the end, Iran's missile cities are more than just military bases. They are symbols of national resilience, a demonstration of the country's determination to defend itself at any cost. They ensure that, in the face of external threats, Iran will always have the capability to strike back decisively, and with power. As the world watches, one thing is certain. Iran's underground missile cities will remain a cornerstone of its defense strategy for years to come, shaping the future of conflict and power dynamics in the region and beyond. With all these measures in place, the question remains. Can Iran's enemies infiltrate these underground bases? Can bunker buster bombs penetrate deep enough to destroy these massive fortifications? They are not only a symbol of the country's defensive power, but also send a clear message to any adversary. Iran will never be caught off guard, and any threat will be met with a response stronger than imagined. By widely dispersing these bases across various parts of the country, Iran has prevented the enemy from concentrating its attacks. These bases are strategically located in mountainous and inaccessible areas, where even spy satellites cannot easily detect their exact locations. In other words, the enemy never knows from where it will be struck. The technology used to construct these bases is among the most sophisticated and advanced in military engineering. They have been built using modern underground engineering techniques to remain hidden while being extremely durable and resistant. These bases are equipped with advanced missile control and guidance systems, enabling commanders to carry out missile launch operations in the shortest possible time.